Hello, people of YouTube. My name is Steve Gray, and today we're going to be talking about My Hero Academia and uh, Deku and his quirk or quirklessness or whatever you want to call it. Uh, but let's just start with why doesn't he have a muscle form like All Might does in the show? And the simple answer to that, kind of, is you don't want him to be distinguished with All Might himself because he is his own character, his own thing, and you don't want to give him a giant crazy muscular form and then basically have him become All Might too. He's kind of his own person. Uh, the series kind of goes on to develop him, um, basically making the power his own. That's why we see the kind of green strike stuff. Um, he it will probably get taller and more muscular as the show goes on, um, as he ages throughout high school. Um, but for right now, he is just going to be using his crazy green energy and focusing on points. Um, so why does All Might then have this crazy muscular form? Um, I think kind of how he uses um, All for One is basically somehow he converts that energy into height and muscle mass, and that's why he becomes this kind of crazy, giant, bulky guy, um, where Deku more kind of uses it just at specific points, and he can't really convert it into muscle mass, or he doesn't know how to do it yet, because um, he only can control, I think, like 5% of it without completely destroying his arms and other body parts. Um, also, another point that I want to talk about with Deku is why the heck does he not wear his mask ever? We got to see his mask, like, one time, um, and it kind of, you know, going for the whole All Might look there with the crazy hair. He's got, like, the rabbit ears going on. Um, we only got to see him use that in one fight with Bakugo, and after that, no more mask. He got burned off his face, and he just doesn't wear it. Um, I think kind of the reason behind that in itself is because uh, with anything with Shonen Jump characters specifically, you want to see their facial features, you want to see their hair. You know, they usually have some sort of fancy different hair, um, or not hair. Uh, if you are... Um, the guy from One Punch Man, I'm forgetting his name, Saitama. Um, but they want to show those characteristics off because that's kind of their selling point, that main character. By putting the mask on him, he's basically just copying All Might, which is the current kind of crazy, you know, ah, oh, crazy superhero guy, saving the world, number one hero, all that. They don't want him to be a spitting image of All Might. They wanted him to basically get... Um, one for all and make his own power from it, as I said previously, and uh, kind of be his own character. Um, it's kind of annoying, though, because a lot of the times they are kind of making these uh, scrawny weaklings, um, giving them power. I feel like it's uh, a little bit overplayed at this point. Um, Naruto, Ichigo, you know, no, nobody's these huge, big, tall, buff dudes anymore. You know, you don't have, like, your Superman anymore. Um, it's kind of getting a little bit overplayed with all these scrawny characters. Um, I think that's also why um, they are making Deku not have huge uh, bulking Hulk mode, uh, because that's kind of what they did in the past with everybody. They were these giant, huge, muscular dudes that were pretty much invincible, and um, it's kind of bringing that power down to a more human level. But as I said, at this point, is it getting overplayed? Um, they keep doing it kind of over and over and over again. As I said, you got Naruto, you got Ichigo, you got Deku. Oh my god, who else do you got? I'm probably thinking, oh, you got, uh, Star-Lord. Not Star-Lord. Oh my god, I'm forgetting his name. Black Star. That's right, Black Star from, uh, Soul Eater. And just a bunch, a whole bunch of other characters. The guy from Fairy Tale. Um, pardon my terrible butchering of Japanese names. Yeah, not, not good with the pronunciation of those guys but anyway as i said so he doesn't he's kind of shaping one for all as his own i kind of wish that uh at some point he would though um kind of gain that crazy muscular form he doesn't have to use it all the time but um it would kind of be cool to see him pay homage to all might by basically becoming a carbon copy of him uh just once in a while you know and uh producing that crazy muscular form uh that everybody knows all might is in kind of being the number one hero or portraying at least that image um, for a short time. Um, I guess we'll just have to wait and see if he develops it or not, and also we'll wait and see to see if he actually keeps the mask or not. Um, I don't think he's going to end up keeping the mask. I think there's probably going to be another costume change where the mask is completely gone. Uh, he might have the braces built into the suit a little bit better, 
But uh, I think the mask is going to be completely, completely gone. Or maybe he'll have like a headband or something with the ears. Um, but uh, it is it's tedious to draw him with that mask all the time, on and off. And um, as I said, with Shonen Jump characters, typically uh, you want that specific person's face to pour be portrayed throughout that entire manga slash anime and everything else. So, my name is Steve Gray. Please subscribe if you like this video. Uh, like, comment down below, turn on that notification bell so you know when I am going to create a new video. I do guitar videos, um, anime videos like this, and video games, the main three categories that I typically go for. Um, eventually, I am going to get a better upload schedule so that way I can do maybe one of each type of video a week, or maybe two... I'll figure out a schedule for you guys. Uh, but my name is Steve Gray. Have a good one.